Check your gifted. What? Did you just... Right now? Oh my goodness, bro. Dude, are you serious? Thanks, so you dude. You need a new PK skin as well, so there yeah. you go. Thank you, Mr. Reflex. Man, we'll back no you for you. No problem, bro. everyone Thorin Smash here and today we have the camel that may have broken the back of Apex Legends. As we all know there was the battle pass fiasco along with milestone events and many others but the cheating problem has become so strenuous that all your beloved creators are officially quitting the game and some of the biggest names out there are just done with it and respawn as per usual is being radio silent. So we're going to go over everything you guys need to know about what's really going on with Apex Legends today and we're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe and you're entered for a chance to win but without further ado let's talk about the issues plaguing the game right now. So Apex Legends has finally you know reached its critical mass or boiling point with not only the casual player base but the pro player base slash the content creator player base. In fact, his Watson the other day, who's been on a tirade for I think the last week or so about complaining about cheaters who have been infiltrating his game and stream sniping, had this to say. We'll play the clip right here. Okay, so I'm assuming you don't want to play tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm not playing until I get a message back from someone. Like, okay. I'm really not going to open Apex until someone tells me that they can fix my problem. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not doing this. This is so stupid. Like, I, if they don't I care about me the that much, then I'll go play something else. That he was... I reached out to Penn and he said he was getting it to whoever's supposed to get it. Okay, well until yeah, I get a response, I'm gonna ridiculous. be a I'm gonna be a fucking Minecraft player or something. <laughs> okay. I'm not like I need a response. This is stupid. Very fair. Very fair. Understandable. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. So as you can see, he's just not gonna come back until he gets any word whatsoever. There was actually some talk about how Valorant handles the cheater, and it was stated that in Valorant when this happens, not only does someone ban the cheater as fast as possible, they'll sit there and watch their next 10 games to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's the game I want to play, his Watson said. And obviously this isn't just his Watson dealing with this, there's actually a brand new video up by the gaming merchant, who also shows that he's clearly over it, stating cheaters now own Apex Legends and there's nothing we can do. And when we go to look at the lead head guy for the cheat division team, I looked at his latest tweet on July 2nd, and it was just a sound clip of his latest music track with the title Cookin. Now, don't get me wrong, the guy can, I guess, post whatever he wants on Twitter, even though he technically made it his professional account tied with his personal account or his music account, whatever you want to call it. But that's not necessarily the communication we want when players are like literally dropping the game because of a lack of communication and cheating issues. And this isn't just a his Watson or a gaming merchant issue. Imperial Howell even has stated that in the five years of playing Apex, viewership has been carried and they desperately need to play into that with ranked cash cups and so on. And it's the lowest player count on Steam since two years. It feels terrible to play Apex outside of competitive right now with how shitty the meta is in ranked, plus the cheaters and stream snipers constantly. Yet not even with probably the biggest content creator slash pro slash streamer in the game, Hal saying this, has Respawn made one statement whatsoever. What we did get was this Apex Legends Battle Pass rework, which has definitely broken the camel's back because now the casual player base is up in arms. In fact, for the first time I've ever seen, there was a community note on Twitter that says, well, Respawn claims this change is made through community feedback. It is obvious that this change is only profitable for EA shareholders. Consumers are forced to spend IRL currency instead of in-game Apex coins, showing that they have not only ignored the cheating issue, the competitive issue, but now the casual player base by trying to gouge us even more. And in response to all of this, the latest Apex Legends tweet I could find was, Summer is heating up, snag some hot deals and new skins in our corrupted summer sale available now. And I don't know how tone deaf as a company you have to be to see all this chaos going around you and be like, yeah, you know what? Instead of addressing some of the concerns the player base is having on a massive scale, let's go ahead and just talk about our new skins coming in so you guys can spend more money on this game, despite the fact that our latest thing that caused controversy was trying to raise prices. So it's no surprise at this point that Apex Legends is absolutely being review bombed. I think right now it sits with a mixed review instead of positive, and it's only going to get worse, very similar to the Helldivers fiasco with the PlayStation networking thing. The player count is in an absolute free fall, continuing to drop down with the lowest average players in a long time with a negative 9% gain in the last 30 days, with June seeing a negative 27% gain, and no one is saying anything. In fact, the people that used to be vocal within the community that used to actually help and alleviate player concerns, or at least show that there was some compassion, they actually laid off. EA just straight up said to Alex Ackerman, 
that after 20 seasons of Apex and five years at Respawn nearly today, their job has been made redundant and they were laid off. Now, I don't know Alex that well, but I did see a lot of her tweets and she was always very engaged with the community. So to see EA and Respawn say, hey, give us more of your money for our skins and our cosmetics while they continue to ignore the cheating problem is a slap in the face, especially when they continue to ignore us. Not to mention, we're getting more gotcha events than ever, like the new one coming in about two weeks. That comes with a reactive battle pass skin. For whatever reason, they decided, oh, we're gonna forget the fact that we said that there would never be a reactive heirloom reward again. Yeah, I get it. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, well, it's not the heirloom reward, but it's the hardest thing to get in the entire event at a 2.6% chance, meaning you're probably gonna have to get the entire thing or spend $360. Memes are popping up all over the place. This is my favorite one I saw on Apex Outlands, where Apex Legends players are the camel and it shows coin prices are rising which is a thing that's been happening milestone events free rewards nowhere near as good as they used to be matchmaking which has always been abysmal in this game and now every half season they want us to pay nine dollars and 99 cents instead of rolling over our apex coins we have to continually buy this for 20 dollars every season if you want the really expensive one it's gonna be 40 dollars a season which if you do that for four months is about $240, which is, you know, basically at this point, the price of a console. Yet we are getting less and less content. Where did the things like the new town takeovers go? When was the last time we got a town takeover? The Watson one on Stormpoint a couple seasons ago, which they barely made anything about. It wasn't a mid-season update. It came with the season. I want things like the Bloodhound Trials. I want Pathfinder's Fight Night, Caustic Arena, Oxane's Jump Pad Fortress, Wraith's Underground Labs with a little bit of lore and story tied into it. I want more in-game teasers, like when Seer was released and we had to go chase the butterflies all over the map. I know that sounds really ridiculous saying that right now. If you're going to continually ask us to spend more and more money in crazy, ludicrous ways that make no sense compared to what you've done in the past, yet at the same time give us less monthly content and less seasonal updates, than ever before. I don't know how you could expect that to go well over with the community. And that ties in to once again, the cheating problem. There's a cheating issue. There's a lack of content in this game compared to other seasons or what we used to get in the past. Yet the prices and the cosmetics are continuing to get ramped up. It's a one-sided affair at this point. And yes, it does look like we're gonna get a new district map, which I hope is absolutely phenomenal. But this took about a year and a half, which is even longer than our usual wait for a new map all while bringing in the milestone events. You can't tell me that the cost of upkeeping this game has gotten more expensive as they have not upgraded the servers or made them any better or made any quality of life improvements to the game itself to make it run better. So where exactly is all this money that we are giving you for all these new cosmetics and all these style of events and milestone things going on? Because I can damn tell you for sure, it is not going back into the game with new upgrades for the player base to enjoy, nor is it going to keeping the respawn staff as they lay them off nor is it going into the anti-cheat program, which is absolutely abysmal. I don't know. I'm angry. I'm on a tirade. I'm absolutely sick of what EA slash Respawn have been doing to this game. Let me know down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the current state of Apex Legends? Are you more upset about the battle pass, the cheaters, the milestone events, or just EA and Respawn not responding to any of the player feedback, just acting like everything is going to be totally fine? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I hope you guys are playing more fun games out there.